We are going off the rails. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this show dedicated to Disney and Tangents. I am your host, Craig Williams, and today I am joined alongside by a great group of people, including the one and only Jackie Gailey. Hello there. The one and only Denny Sunderly. Hi there. And the one and only Rhino. Hello. Hello, everyone. Thanks Hello. for being here today. We <laughs> have a lot to be thankful for. I think we can all agree with that. Yes. And so that's why we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. But before we get to the thankfulness, we need to talk about Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content, you want to support us, you can think about booking a trip through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Maybe. Why not? You know, it's the holidays. Want to plan those vacations? Great time to do it through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get the help of one of the amazing Dreams Unlimited Travel agents. They will just make your entire vacation planning so, so simple, and they're there to help you as much or as little as you want. So if you're interested, get a free no-obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com, and also just take a second to make sure you hit the thumbs up and you're subscribed to the channel. Now, let's get on with this show. The topic today is thankfulness, and uh, you know, this is kind of a palate cleanser. You know, we're we're coming into the the last stretch of the holidays in December, and you know, right before we got to our Thanksgiving break, we we kind of we kind of went through an episode where we were a little bit uh, aggressive. I feel like that's a, probably a good word to say yes. that. Uh, so some we're of us more than others, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some some of us a little bit more than others. But yeah, I feel like we need to take uh, we need to take that step back. We need to take a breather and take some time to remember all the things that we are thankful about, especially when it comes to Disney and Walt Disney World, because really, it all it does hold a special place in all of our hearts. Maybe not Rhinos. Not quite sure yet. We're still trying to figure out the numbers on that one. Mm -hmm. but uh <laughs> it definitely does hold a soft spot in all of our hearts there's something you know there whether it's that that special spot that you have or just that feeling of escape when when you go on that attraction or this one something that just you know makes everything better i think we all have at least one thing like that at Walt Disney World that just we know we know it has the ability to turn our day around despite everything that's that's being there or it's just something that we truly appreciate and sometimes you don't you don't stop and think about the simple things that really really do make it all even more special so uh does anyone want to to kick it off with something they're thankful for normally rhino would like chime in at this point and say something aggressive as well too but I aggressive think Jackie, and thankful at the yeah. same time. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toronto raps. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to goad him because like deep down I was like, Rhino's not gonna be able to come up with a single thing. Food. <laughs> well, I was gonna say that too. What? I was I was actually gonna say oh, okay. the the variety of food that we have here, including Disney Our bounty, Springs, if you will. Our bountiful, <laughs> bountiful blessings yes. in the food department. <laughs> like I just I, you know, I just thinking of Disney Springs alone really, it's so much fun to kind of know we just have so many different things. And the resort restaurants, we have like I have we have my husband and I have like our favorites that we go to, but um but like we we have these pop up moments of just discovering something new and find like finally going to Wine Bar George. But we went on New Year's Eve, and mm -hmm. so you know I, I've kind of thought, well, if you have off, you know, for New Year's Eve this year, we could always go back to Wine Bar George. Like it was, it's they're just there's there's such a mix, and there's there's so many I haven't tried yet. There's always something new just waiting to be experienced and for me that's that's a lot of fun to mm -hmm. go ooh okay what what should i try next and um what's on that must must eat list so I love it's that. all about food with me yeah. it's my stomach well the local perspective makes it yeah. even like it can go another level forward so mm -hmm. for for Kylie and I uh our comfort food if we're not feeling great not necessarily sick. If someone, if we're sick, or one of us is sick and the other isn't, you know, only one person goes. But when we're just kind of like feeling bleh, yeah. uh, we always inevitably decide, like, okay, for lunch or dinner, we're gonna have Earl of Sandwich specifically. Aww. 
holiday turkey sandwiches, yeah. of course, and then a, a cup of tomato soup. Because if you're if you're not feeling a hundred percent, sometimes you just want that the warm embrace of a, a tomatoey soup mm-hmm. going down your gullet, and <laughs> it, it is it like so. It is something that. You know, I know you can technically recreate that sandwich at home after mm-hmm. Thanksgiving or uh, lots of sandwich shops have it around Thanksgiving. But uh, that's like one of the things I truly am thankful for is that it is now available and has been for years, but it wasn't always the case. But it's available yeah. year round at Disney Springs. So we know anytime we're not feeling great and we need that that special food item that's going to help, we can always just go to Disney Springs and and get that comfort meal. And it's, I, I don't know. There's something, there's something about it that it's just, it's like eating, mm. it's like eating chicken noodle soup on a day where you didn't go to school because you were, you were saying your stomach hurt, but really you're just faking you it because you wanted to watch, you wanted to watch Price is Right. That's I mean, right. <laughs> but yeah, so it's, uh, I know mine is like hyper specific, but then again, Rhino started off hyper specific with the Ronto wrap. So I'm just grateful they're in my life that I'm able to have the ability to be able to go and eat them and enjoy them. And also for Baseline Tap House. I am. Hey, I will say that because I, 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 I've said it before. I'll say it a million times. Is that it's not necessarily being. Oh, you're grateful for like a drink and whatever. It's the environment that it created, where it's the it's a, a quiet. I feel like again. I've said said before. It's not like Rose and Crown at Epcot. It's not. It's not rambunctious. It's pretty chill. It's relaxed. You know, there it, it can usually find a seat. You know, and sit, and it's like a little respite from the day. Yes. But also in in the stuff that we do, it can either be a thing where you're like, you know what, I'm I'll bring my, you know, I'll bring my tablet or my laptop or whatever, and and I'll I'll sit and I'll do something here or work on something or or just relax for a minute or I can meet somebody a friend who's in town or you know something like that it's it's like a great like again there isn't really a lot of places like that on disney property where it doesn't feel overwhelmed because even at disney springs because you don't need an annual pass or anything like that i feel like some of those places can get overwhelmed well and you brought up disney springs specifically and i already was working on this in my head but there is one spot like baseline tap house that i go to when i'm Hold at disney wall. springs no it is ja, ja. No. no, no, I go to the Starbucks on the west side because oh, you yes. can sit and just relax. Yeah. You can yeah. work from there. Work. Mm-hmm. And that's the same thing we do at Baseline Tap House. So essentially, in my head, I was recreating like, oh, with the with all like the adult uh, contemporary music covers that play around Baseline Tap House. It's essentially like a Starbucks for alcohol inside yeah. a theme Give me more park. It's sure and- <laughs> right. And charcuterie, <laughs> just like your Starbucks for the snack party. box <laughs> before the party. That's what I stopped and had was a was a little board. Yeah, yeah. I I nice. like those snack boxes. Yeah, the snack boxes they're they're always solid. But that's kind of what it's like. And you know, in Rhino's situation too, I know that he's had other influences on him, like his uh, friend Kim. I would like to think myself, but I feel like the reason that Rhino has found uh, appreciation mm. for more beer is because. Because it started out with, okay, we're going to get a drink in the park. Where do you go? And it's like, okay, baseline tap house. And at first, Rhino was only like, I'm going to order the thing with the most alcohol in the biggest size. (laughs) So that way I get my money's worth out of it. But then he's like, that's when he started acquiring more of a taste of different drinks, too. And like, I I mean, I, I feel like. I feel like I'm a ta- uh, father talking about his no, son right now. You but got me into the IPA territory. That's yeah, where it got. So my God, you've just you. I've watched your journey progress He's as you started on. going no. more and more to places like Baseline Tap House. So uh, it truly, it is a it is a spot that I'm thankful for because you know yeah. as great as the writer stop was there before it, I, I think a this great is spot. A use, yeah, it's a it's a better space. Yeah, I'm happy about it. I just like the atmosphere. It, 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 it's, it's the it's the Edison I don't know bulbs, I can that it's far. the umbrellas, it's the like it's all of it. It's, it's so just good. like it's just a place where I'm like it feels like a, uh, the 
a perfect people watching spot yeah, where it also it has its own identity. You know, it's more than a bench. It's more than a thing. And that, and I'm just, I am happy. And, you know, I'm grateful that there's a spot like that. And I'm happy that it's at Hollywood Studios because it has, I think it's crazy to me coming so far from having worked there that like, now we have our Star Wars, we've got Toy Story Land, you know, it's got some good Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, like all these kind of things where I'm like, you know what, that's a good let me go meet somebody park you know like mm -hmm. i loved i love nomad lounge at animal kingdom but the drink is way too expensive now attempting tyrus is still my favorite drink at disney but it's like 17 dollars or something is like it that really? like, it's yeah it used to be like 11 bucks and it just keeps going drink. up like, and up how? well and on top of that you have to you have to, you have a server so it's a it's like i mean not that you i mean i tip the baseline tap house people too but it's right. one of those so it, it's not really the price of that drink it's more because also the bartender's making it. So you're like, well, I want to tip, you know, accordingly. But it's just one of those things where I'm like, it adds up too quick. Whereas like, yeah. I feel like baseline Tampa, it's still kind of, it's a value. The charcuterie yeah. board, I still feel like is worth the money 100%. Yes, and then the same with the beer. It's the one place on Disney property where I'm like, actually, I feel like this beer is pretty affordable. And on, on, on not too over, it's like a, maybe a dollar or two more than I'd pay for it at somewhere else. But I don't know. So I'm, I'm, I am grateful that there's a little bit of just a, an area for like a decompress, but a hangout mm -hmm. and whatever. The last time I was in there, I was in there with you. And the, the but the time before that. I think I have a problem. <laughs> you don't have a problem. But the time before that, um, like the bartender just chatted me up and mm -hmm. said, you know, are you a local? And just, you know, it's the whole cheers effect, right? The place yeah. where everyone that knows That guy, your Mike, name. the guy bartender Mike yeah. in there, phenomenal. So in the middle of a busy theme park, in the middle of a busy theme park where guests from literally across the globe are coming in, there is, like you said, this little place of respite yeah. that that a bartender might recognize you or know or want to get to know you. Because, I mean, he asked me if I was a local. Like, I'm sure he wants to know. Is he going to see me more, yeah, more yeah. often? Like, or am I just one and done? So it's, it is it is it is just this nice little haven. Yeah. And they've got... Good non non alcoholic sodas like special sodas. Yeah, I think that's another that's Good nice. Stuff. Yeah, it's I, that's why I think it's nice. It has a little bit to offer from mm -hmm. the different areas, but yes. yeah, it absolutely does. So, Jackie, that's you've cool. been you've been very quiet during this one. I have. have we just been talking over top of you, or you have nothing to be yes, thankful probably. for? No, I do. Sorry. I have. She's plenty. very ungrateful. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> ungrateful. Sorry, ungrateful for everything. <laughs> um, no, I I try to think about things that I'm that I'm thankful for at Disney and I I think that where I'm at as just as I I so I don't go to the places regularly like you guys do because I'm not down I'm not here quite as often and I try to think about um you know just being semi local so um it's funny I'm grateful though that there are places that we have been going to since we first started vacationing at Walt Disney World that are still there, that are still the same. It's still that, you know, sort of nostalgic feeling for us. And um, like places like Boma. Hmm. And um, that was a restaurant that my whole family, you know, all – you know, all multi-generations. We used to go there every time we came here. And when our son graduated from high school, I told him, pick anywhere at Walt Disney World that you want to go have a special dinner. We're going to go down for the weekend after graduation. And Boma was the restaurant he picked. It's special it's to him. It's a good one. And, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's so places like that. And there's, mm -hmm. there's just so many. Um, because it seems now that usually when I come down to the parks, I don't just come down to putts around and, mm -hmm. and just kind of hang out and meet up with people and, and that kind of thing, because I come down for a specific thing and, um, and then usually, you know, turn around and go home if there's enough daylight hours. But when I come down with the family, I, I'm just really thankful that we're able to relive some of those experiences. We're all a little older and, um, and for the, for the things that we did with the kids when they were younger, it's really fun now that they're grownups that they'll come and say, 
hey, mom, I really want to go down to Walt Disney World for the weekend. As a matter of fact, my daughter FaceTimed me during fireworks last night. Um, and she said to me, I, I would like to go down to Disney, you know, for my birthday, which is coming up mm. this month later this month. And, and so I'm thankful that even though my kids don't live for Disney, like I do, um, they, there's certain pieces of things from their childhood that are still there and we can still go back and enjoy even though they're all grown up now. So mm. it's pretty cool. Oh, that, it is. That yeah. continuity is a lot of fun. It is. It's, it's really fun. To know yeah. that you've got memories on that attraction with so-and-so mm -hmm. and that attraction with this other loved one. And, yeah. and to kind of giggle and rem reminisce. and It's just so fun. Yeah. 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 And I don't think go she on, has. We yeah. remember. I'm just setting <laughs> yes. loot. You're on your own on this one. Mm -hmm. Choice oh that. Together, I can't remember all the words. That was yep. very good. That one, I like that. Yeah, I feel like that was the mood you were setting. I was like, it yeah. is. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, it's fun. It's like because as our lives <gasps> change. Okay. Oh my okay. gosh! <laughs> Literally, I didn't realize <laughs> that was coming. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet that like that. Perfect. Give us surprises. <laughs> so nice. I'm like so a cat bringing faithful. a dead mouse into the house. You're <laughs> Look welcome. what I yeah. found. Meow. So nice. <laughs> <Meow>. <laughs> and lizards. Also. So, you know, I, I know you probably still have more to say about it if you're not completely frazzled <laughs> with this now, but I, I think it also, you know, the nostalgia, the thankfulness that we have that Disney is reluctant to change a lot mm -hmm. it's it is something to be thankful about but it is sometimes also very frustrating when you know some the things that you don't want to change change and the right. things that you do want to change just mm -hmm. continually remain the same and not in that fun way where you can joke about it yeah. uh but uh yeah it's uh it it is it is nice and i mean that kind of bounces off the one episode we did where we were talking about what's what is sacred? I mean, it's mm. in this, in the greater situation, there truly is nothing that's like off limits at Disney minus, you know, big landmarks and stuff like that and bigger concepts. But yeah, it's, but, and as far as this goes, like, yeah, it is, it is nice to stop and think like, yeah, I'm glad that they haven't changed some things in ever mm -hmm. ever at all it's it can be it can be the same from the first visit 50 years ago to today and mm -hmm. that's pretty that's pretty unique. like the castle yeah. uh no oh no wait that changed Too soon. <laughs> just a little bit see i'm oh, thankful no. also for main street usa because i think that main street usa is just just the best. The bee's knees. The bee's, the bee's knees. knees. I was gonna say the bee's knees, and then I was like, "Wait, did I? Felt I it. Did I say the bee's knees one time?" And you guys were like, "No, no you I can't felt say that. it felt no. appropriate for what for what you were emoting right then." Yeah. I've been I do, saying I do the bee's you, knees for years. What you said was that, was yeah. a sweet. It's it is one of those things where maybe you take a little bit for granted, like what you what you two were saying to each other about that continuity and mm -hmm. being able to have memories on some of that stuff. Like you said, it, maybe it is that sacred stuff that doesn't change. You know, I, yeah. mean, I guess the council yeah. changes as well. Like, but the yeah. you know, but like, but like being, the general, you, you know, it's it's. I guess we're grateful. Like you know, sometimes we hate. I, I personally sometimes do not like where <laughs> living in Florida. It does not agree with me weather-wise and things like that. But I, I do try to always say, like, you know what, though, for the last years that I have been here, I'm grateful that I have a place like this. And I've been fortunate enough to be able to go here That's as right. much as we've done and, mm -hmm. you know, do what we've done and meet who we've met and have these things that do feel a little bit more special to us in some yeah. way. And I'm sure everybody thinks that, too. Well, That's the thing, yeah. you know? <laughs> that yeah. was the hard part. I didn't want to, like, go down that road too much with it because that is like the locals like kind of i think everybody who comes to yeah, disney everyone feels like does that, but though, you know i like, mean not, it, i don't even mean it in a mean way it like. truly is like when we are thinking about ways to entertain ourselves as in well what do we want to do it's i mean if i have the bigger say in it it'll probably be first well let's go to a brewery we haven't been to in a while mm -hmm. but uh you know i also Disney is almost thrown out every single time yeah. as well too with it. So it's that is like the 
the part that I hate to be like, yeah, when we're locals, we can just say that and we can we but, can go like that and we treat this as our entertainment. And we have that. Every yeah. other person that comes from far away treats it as as their getaway because they right. need that 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 time yeah. with their family, mm-hmm. with themselves, just in a special place. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's very similar feelings when you're in the moment, but we just approach it from two different perspectives. Mm-hmm. And Definitely. That's a good I don't, point. Yeah. I don't like mm-hmm. to shove it down people's throats that I can say, oh, I'm bored on a Tuesday. I can let's go watch fireworks. Yeah. Well, okay. What are you so, idiots doing? So, let's, so one of the first things I thought about when you mentioned thankfulness and what are we thankful for Disney-wise, I thought of Disneyland. Oh, I, I did too. But I, 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 I thought I, of we're in a Walt Disney World. Exa- show, I Danny. know, but but to put that in pers- <laughs> thank you, Rhino. <laughs> but uh, but to put it in perspective, Craig, with what you're saying, because we can be local biased and we can say, hey, we can roll on over anytime we want to. We can't for Disneyland. Mm-hmm. I am so. I'm specifically so thankful for and for Avengers Campus personally as a, a complete fangirl to be able to walk into those movies and be there and and I'm kind of thankful that we don't have it here although I would like it here selfishly I really 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 would mm-hmm. but it's more special if I can't access it on a random Wednesday afternoon mm-hmm. and so I'm thankful that the for all the moments and the memories I have out there whether in DCA at Avengers Campus or at the Plaza Inn having, you know, a meal that Walt loved to eat back in the day. Like it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. I'm so just so thankful. And, and also piggybacking on what you said, I, I'm thankful to get to live here because yeah. I remember being 900 miles away and wanting more than nothing to be here and watching what Kathy Whirling would do in the parks and what she would post on Facebook and go, oh. That's so that's so special. I I love that. I wanted any kind of connection. So the the fact that um, that we get to kind of roll over on a random Wednesday afternoon is a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But see, and I'm I'm with you though too. I am also thankful for Disneyland, and I know Jackie is too. We're all in oh, agreement yeah. on that. But for yeah. me, it's like I grapple with this because I've said on shows and in many conversations with people, I would love to move to California if mm. it wasn't so expensive mm-hmm. and everything that goes along with it. But I'm also glad because as long as I don't live there, I know Disneyland will always be that destination yes. I can travel to that mm-hmm. was literally a second thought when we lived in Pennsylvania, because yeah, we came, we came down, we went to, we mm-hmm. went to Walt Disney World and that was that was all that matters. And, you know, I do have other destinations around the United States that I love to go to that I hold special, but it's it's still that Disneyland and that Disney difference. So mm-hmm. I, I'm glad I'm glad that I selfishly don't go there more often than I do and that I I don't live there because I, I love that feeling that I have for Disneyland. And mm. I don't I don't think I'd feel that way about Walt Disney World if I was still living in Pennsylvania now. I think I I think that would have started to drift drift away for me. But you know, it's that that's all just speculation. I don't have to I don't have to know because I'm living it every day. But I'm living it. I'm living it. McDonald's sponsored yeah. by McDonald's. One of the things Jackie said though, in in terms of like BOMA being that uh, that one thing that's here to do every single time i think it can even be like smaller details than Mm -hmm. that so like when my sister was i forget ages don't matter it was 2000 we stayed at wilderness lodge for the first time on that trip and we took a photo out front of the in out front of the gift shop where there's the the totem of of Humphrey the Bear and Mickey mm-hmm. and Goofy and Donald and we took a photo on that trip and then the next time we came back and we stayed there again yeah and so we had the progression and we haven't taken a photo there in a while but it's like it's one of those things that I we I know we still have the pictures and I know we can go back and look at them and such mm-hmm. so it's like it's nice knowing like that we have that spot that if we wanted something like oh that special that special picture together we could always we could always go there and things like that could change but you know a mm. lot of a lot of small locations like that don't really change unless the areas go through an overhaul so 
if the streets of America was your special place, oh, I am I was sorry thinking about for that you. Earlier. <laughs> um, I just felt bad for that. LMA is no longer yeah. there. I know, Rhino, you had mixed feelings about it, but I mean... Oh, they're not mixed. Yeah, they're not mixed. <laughs> yeah. I just, all love. <laughs> I mean, all love all the time. It's just, it's, <laughs> it is sad um, that the, we can't access the streets of America really much anymore. And I think that's one of the reasons I like Baseline so much, because we have that one right around the corner there, that one little piece of the streets of mm. America left, which I really love. Um, what? No, go ahead, please. What? Okay, go you ahead. looked like you were going to say something. Um, I love, I kind of like what you were saying, Craig, that, that you stood in that spot. What are you freaking doing now? <laughs> You're driving me crazy. What are you doing? Staring at you with her mouth open. I'm going to throw open. something at you. But to say <laughs> that you and your sister have have stood in front of the, the totem, in front of the gift shop, like... I, I enjoy getting to walk in the parks and go, oh, yeah, I went. I stood in that spot with my sister. Yeah. I stood mm-hmm. in that spot with my parents. Right, you know, right here is uh, is where, you know, I was with dad back when I was 10. Like, I just, that's so much fun. And now I mm-hmm. want Boma. And I'm hungry. Yeah, I want some zebra domes. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> zebra domes. I want it's been a while. And breakfast is wow. at Boma is my absolute that's most right. favorite. The BB. Yeah. I see breakfast at Boma, mm-hmm. and I as soon as we brought up Boma, I took like one step back from all of this, and I am so grateful and thankful that Walt Disney World has the amount of different themed hotels that it does mm-hmm. because I have I have only been to like Seattle in terms of the Pacific Northwest, which I don't consider downtown Seattle the Pacific Northwest no, that much really. uh, no. because trees it's there. not. Um, <laughs> You know, if you go further out, it you'll start to get there. But yeah. specifically where I was, no, not not really. It was where a, my it was a city, is. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, but my parents, the uh, just back in the fall, they went on a couple of the national parks up in the Pacific Northwest area, and oh. and with that, they stayed at like the one lodge that is the one of the inspirations for Wilderness Lodge, and. Like just pointing out, like, oh yeah, you can really see where the how the details crossed over in such, and it made me think, like, I know how expensive that that lodge is and how much it costs, and then to travel out out west to go there, and it starts. I know, I know, parks are, you know, they're they're they they can be a lot cheaper than a Disney vacation, but at the same time, too, if you want to go to theme parks, if you want that fun, it's cool that you still have these themed hotels that. Mm-hmm can literally transport you to a place that you don't have access to. Uh, you know, we're all not going to just hop in a plane and fly to Africa to, to stay on a nature reserve and right. experience that we can't all afford to go out to California and stay at the hotel del Coronado and have That's that right. same experience of, uh, the grand Floridian and they in the Polynesian. You know, oh my it, gosh! How, mm-hmm. I, I granted it's a hotel. It's not, but like the bungalows. If you really saved up and put it all out there, you you could probably just go to the islands yes. for that cost. But uh, in, in a general sense, it can tran- the hotels at Walt Disney World can transport you to a place that you might just not have that easy access to anywhere else. So if you can split theme parks with that crazy destination getaway, like yeah, come on, mm-hmm. why not? And for the people who are Hollywood, yeah, yeah, Dollywood. Someday, someday, someday. someday. Okay. But yeah. I always do think about the people who are like, we're from New Orleans. Our favorite hotel, Port Orleans French Quarter. That's right. Got to go there. <laughs> like really it's all about the beignets, your safe space. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? I'm like oh yeah. no, we're not from we're not from New Orleans. We're we're from just outside of it, kind of in the area that's a little bit more wooden and stuff. So we like Riverside for that reason. Perfect. Like Aww. what? Two what? great resorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great resorts. Mm-hmm. Yep. I just, I don't, I always question it when someone who's from Louisiana and New Orleans is like, our favorite hotel, hands it's down. Like, it's like, okay. Mm. I don't get it, but. Cool. Why not? Beignets, bro. Bro. That's right. Beignets, bro. <laughs> I, I don't know what the British have to do with this. <laughs> that was my Louisiana accent. Oh, well, was it? Was it? No. Was it? No. 
Cool. I guarantee. I, gar- I guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> now so we're just bordering funny. on a fence. Yeah. <laughs> Laissez le bon temps rouler. Uh, I can't. I, 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 I got to ramp into yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry. Laissez keep le bon temps rouler. Yeah. There you go. There you you go. Go. Keep saying it in your head a couple times. Let them good times roll. <laughs> I'm Corey Martin. Just happy to be here. Oh, Making love gumbo. That Corey Martin. <laughs> That's what Corey sounds like, right? Um, I don't <laughs> believe I've uh, ever sneakers. heard him say well, making gumbo. Sneakers. Yes, he did say gumbo. He what? literally said gumbo on our last conference call because I remember oh. having my ear, the earplugs in, walking down to Disney Springs, being like, what is the point of this staff meeting where Corey is talking about gumbo over and over again? He talked about his accent and how sometimes one of you said you thought he was from New York, that and he me. brought up how he made gumbo oh. with his accent. So, boom, roasted. Okay. Uh, Do you feel roasted? I don't feel roasted. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't either. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, re- I generally remember that whole oh, scenario no, going down, <laughs> but at the same time, too, I, I still think- It's the only time in my life I have heard Corey Martin say the word gumbo. But I know it happened yeah. recently. I mean, New Orleans. So funny. No, we probably heard him because he, he talks about it from uh, Universal, though, too. I think. Well, he has talked about it from that. But when we go out to Disneyland and go to Ralph Brennan's, oh, yeah. uh, a lot of times, you know, we'll we'll always eat there. And we would uh, we would plan ourselves back at the bar when he was in his his drinking days. And that's where we would sit and. You know, it's there was always a lot of boudin balls, a lot of gumbo, and like actual <laughs> traditional stuff mm-hmm. in that way. So everywhere else, he would just order the largest steak that's on yeah, the menu the and do that. But mm-hmm. at Ralph yes. Brennan's, it's like, oh, yeah, one in Rome, that's you, right, you sure. get the gumbo. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what you get in Rome, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I sure. well, if you're like us, when you travel to Italy, you go to Hard Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, yeah gotta get those potato spuds <laughs> mm-hmm. oh gotta no. get the chicken wings mm-hmm. see our rule when we travel is that we don't eat anywhere that we <laughs> can get at home i'm looking for the sign so, it's not in here anymore <laughs> that's Sorry. why what we was it uh, uh, jackie Pete, okay Pete steal a sign. no 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 i need that we can't find it in here we will find it one day uh, the Hard Rock sign that Pete asked for when we were in Venice that says Hard Rock Venezia. Oh, and cool. He, he got to bring it home with that. I, I swear we had this exact same conversation, though, Jackie, where you're like, we, we only like to eat at places we don't have at home. And yeah. then you brought up the sandwich shop. Oh, Earl's Quiz, Earl's Quiznos. 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 Oh, Quiznos. 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 Yes. yes. <laughs> because you didn't That's have right. Quiznos or you did? We had Quiznos back home in Seattle, yes. but we don't have. We, it's not here. See, <laughs> what what was? I think I don't remember what the. Did I contradict myself? It was uh, no. It was the. It was basically the same conversation we were having. Where we we're talking about like, oh, when we go travel places, you don't want to eat at the same place that's at but home. You said like, we always look for a Quiznos. <laughs> we do. Oh well, we look for one because where we are in Jacksonville, we don't have that. I don't think there nobody, are there Quiznos down here. I, I, they were in Massachusetts, but I, well, they I think it's a dying too. chain. It, it is a dying chain. Yeah. It's, it's getting, I know there's one, I think, in like the Nashville airport. In. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because we always look for one because we don't have one at home now. We had one right down the street mm-hmm. back home, back home in Seattle. It just, but it still makes me laugh. And I'm not so doing, saying it in a mean way. It's just no. like, I know one day I'll hear someone say like, <laughs> Subway, when's the last time you saw that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Right. Do you yeah. do you yes, walk do. everywhere you go? Do you not travel by car to know that there's one every three miles? On my miles? recent trip to Tennessee, I I was like, uh, or I was going to Kentucky, but you have to drive through Tennessee, and it was literally the only fast food. I'm not even. I'm not kidding you. Yeah. It was Subway, Subway, Subway. Wow. Nothing else. Because I was like, there's no movie theaters. There's no. Restaurants, there's nothing, but there were subways everywhere oh in Tennessee. Every two miles, there was a subway, That's and I was funny. like, "These people, yeah, yeah, they're getting by on their sandwiches." On wow. seventy-five, it is like loaded, yeah. loaded with subways in like every gas station, rest stop area. There will be at least one with a subway inside wow. it. That's it was like unexpected. It was when I was traveling that when our family was in Cincinnati, and I was coming down to Florida and going back and forth that way. Eventually, it got to the point, I'm like, why are there so many Subways? <laughs> and that's when I found out that, oh, Subway's actually the largest fast food chain. It's hmm. even bigger than McDonald's in what? terms of the amount of stores. Wow. That, that was 
at least at the time that was 10 years ago that okay. was that was the uh subway was the largest I, it could still be now i don't have my phone out with google i'm hoping that eat rhino fresh. looks it up but uh because <laughs> yeah i mean it is a way to eat fresh while driving through uh, driving through the middle america subway it is it is, wow. yeah. Wow. No, it's yep. just in. This Siri told me so. <laughs> wow. Guys, hurry up. I got something to tell you that I just read about on the internet that oh. doesn't have anything to do with what we're talking about. I can okay. tell that you did, and I'm like... Yeah. Yeah. Because it was, it's start. relevant to what we talked about in our after show on Patreon today. Are you today. thankful for it? I'm can thankful for in? the reaction. I can't wait to see what Craig will have when I say what I just read. And it's really not that big of a deal, but... Well, now it is. It's an off the rail show. I just I could just say it. Uh, yeah. Well, well, you know what? I think at this point we can just go back on the rails. Okay. I think we can. So I, I think we made our point clear that we all have a lot to be thankful for mm-hmm. from the little things, especially like, this show. Yeah. I just cut you off. And I don't think you're actually thankful for this show. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I mean, sometimes Are you we say him a what liar? we we say what we need to say to get to the dessert at Thanksgiving. Some days, mm-hmm. okay. And I don't. That sounds like a code, a vague code. No, 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 no. I get it. It's like it's. I I would say take it one step further back where you say you know sometimes someone just has to volunteer to pray so we can get the meal started. Because you can't always just go back to your Uncle Jeff and say, hey, Uncle Jeff, Uncle will Jeff. you please mm-hmm. do the prayer? And in this case, I am. I know we use Uncle Jeff now as our standard yes. uncle one. <laughs> However, it is on my mom's side of the family. It's Uncle Jeff that always gets forced into doing the prayer before the meal at Bless holidays. So very specific on that. Uh, and yeah, so... Uh, Rhino, a great point you made with that. We do need to uh, get to the dessert and the meal and all that. But Yummy. yeah, we we all have a lot of things to be thankful for. The small things, the larger things. There's If you can't find one thing to be thankful of at Walt Disney World, why are you coming hey, here? Doing doing what we do with people like everybody in this room. Aww. Thankful. Wow. Boom. Likewise. Yes. Likewise, yes. for sure. Yeah, whatever. It's... I don't believe you. I said it first. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm thankful for the show. So, yeah. Yes. Okay, well, you, I do believe. Yes. <laughs> Wait, oh, fine. You I was the one that didn't believe you. Did you not believe in yourself, too? <laughs> no, I believed what I said about the people in the room, but not the show. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> I actually do like having a show like this where there's an outlet to be a little more cash. Yeah. That's yeah, why I like I the Universal it. show. It's the funny it's part fun. about this show is we struggle sometimes to get started and then usually by the end we can't shut we're up. Rolling we rolling along. Can't shut it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. We can't. But we're going to go back on the rails. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much to everyone out there for listening and watching. We hope you appreciated it. And if you did, Hey, maybe consider booking a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get a free no-obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. And if you want to support us even more, hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can always hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave topics and comments, questions, suggestions all in the comments section. And if you're listening to this, make sure you're subscribed wherever you listen to podcasts. And if it's through Apple Podcasts and you're enjoying it, leave us a five-star rating and review. But that's it for this episode of Off the Rails. Thank you so much to the panel for the fun discussion, the heartwarming discussion, I should say. And thank you again, everyone out there for listening and watching. We'll see you again real soon with another episode of Off the Rails. Take care. Bye-bye.